Hi, you know the drill. We're going to talk about what we've been sewing, what we've been doing, and what we're going to sew. Stay around. Hi, welcome back. So this week, I am going to feature a soda look. So I saw this picture in the J. Jill catalog, and they call it the Positano. And I liked it right away. And I even have some photos with me in it that I will insert. Let me move to the side so I've got some room to do that. And then I plan on inserting some at the end too with music because I have quite a few of pictures of me with that on and with what I'm wearing on. So. so my interpretation was I thought I would start with the berries for the bottom. Now, as you know, I love the bobs and people suggested to me to try the berries. So I think I'll go over those just for a couple minutes in case you don't know about them. Both of them are um, balloon, lantern, clown dance, whatever you want to call them, designed by Stylark. And that's the first uh, set and that's the bobs. Now I love the bobs, um, but people said once they went to the berries, they didn't went back. And really the only difference is is they have a uh, slash pockets or angled pockets, I guess you would call them, and they have a dart down in the front lower leg, and then on the top they have a gathered waistband. So I made my size, um, I believe I'm a 14, and the only modification I made was I extended the back crotch a little bit and they came up pretty good um, I was very non-committal on the paper bag waist as you can see it's just like I almost did it <laughs> and I might make them sh uh, longer uh, the next time it just depends on the look I'm going for but yeah they are an easy sew of course and um, yeah I really like them so the next thing oh and let's talk about the fabric. So I got pretty close to the leaf fabric featured in the picture, but when I tried on the actual outfit, it is was a rayon chalet. And sure enough, a lot of the, uh, you know, comments on the J. Jill website were like, I didn't expect it to be so thin, and I didn't either. But it did give me a license to go thin if I wanted. And I found this fabric, it is a linen rayon blend that I got at Joanne. And for four yards, I spent $67. And Andra, um, I believe her channel might be Andra Makes. Um, she doesn't follow me or anything, but she is really good about doing like a Joanne seasonal store tour a little bit. And so I noticed that the video she most recently put out did have this fabric in it. Now, it's sold out at my Joanne, but anyway, um, you can get it at Joanne if you're interested. And last week I showed you that I actually dyed a swatch of it. And so if, if you think this is not going with my colors, let me know because um, I might add a little, a little warmth to it. I haven't decided. Okay, so moving on to the top. Well, I stuck with Style Arc, and it's a long shot from being anyone's cult favorite, but this is a really good top. It's called the Alani Tunic, but it's not real long, and I just make mine a little shorter in the mid the pockets. And so I have it on, but if you recall by looking at my uh, picture of the Positano from J. Jill, there's gathering on the sleeve. Now, on their top, I didn't like where it cut me. That's just not a flattering spot for me to have a garment in. And so I deliberately extended the sleeves. Um, so for this top, what I did is I took both the front and the back and I simply added an inch. I didn't even add it to the po uh, pattern. I just did it on the cutting table um, so that my seam allowance is now going to be an inch and a centimeter because their seam allowance is a centimeter. And I did it to both the front and the back. 
And I think this might be a good time for me to take this off so I can show you the inside. So I'm gonna switch out for another Alani that I've made, and then I'll show you the inside. So now I'm gonna show you the inside of the garment and the modifications I made. So the easy modification was, um, it has a nice big hem facing, and so I simply added a little bit of elastic on the bottom to just bring that in for kind of an interesting look. And it certainly does look like a jumpsuit. I even had someone ask me yesterday if, I, if that was a jumpsuit, but it's not, it's a two-piece set. So um, I'm happy with that. And that inspiration, I can't remember where I got, um, but I just think it kind of adds a little bit of gathering also. And then the top though, where the cording is, was a little bit of um, one of those things that's deceptively not as simple as you would think. <laughs> so I started by extending those seam allowances, like I said, but then I figured out I really needed to figure out a way to get the cording out. And the really the easiest and best way I could think of was to simply create buttonholes. And I figured out I needed to do that next. So after I sewed the big seam allowance, the shoulder seams with the big seam allowances. Then I added these buttonholes. And then next I sewed down the seam allowance. I folded it under and sewed it down, creating a casing for the cording. And then after that, um, I sewed on the neck facing. And it's a beautiful, all these pieces just go together so nicely, no fiddling. And that's the neck facing, but I skipped the stitches here. And let me tell you why, because the next thing I did was I fished the cording up to here on both, you know, both pieces. And then I secured it with the neck facing stitches. So now I have these cordings coming out and they're coming through the buttonholes. And then I sewed on my arm facing. And um, I just skipped over a couple stitches so that the cords would have room to still be functional as far as gathering. So I hope that explains it. Okay, here's a little addendum for you. There was enough I forgot, I thought it was worth it. First of all, um, as you can see in this picture, she styled it with dark shoes and a hobo bag. And I had made a hobo bag last year in linen. It's not as dark as her, but I did wear the dark shoes, although I will probably not wear the dark shoes. I'll probably wear a different pair of sandals. And the next thing is, um, this is the fabric dyed with this dye. And if I do it, it won't be as dark as this. I won't saturate it as much. And the last thing I wanted to say is, I do know that like an older lady modeling her handmade clothing is not like exactly clickbait, but isn't that what's so great about the sewing community? We really keep it real and hopefully my aesthetic and my size and my makes will somehow inspire you for something that you need to make in the future. So on with the show. <laughs> Um, Jen's talking point this week is, have you ever taken a sewing class or taught a sewing class? And so I have not really taken any sewing classes. I'm pretty much self-taught. I'm of the generation where we did get it in home ec and my mother sewed our things. So I got a lot of it by osmosis, but I've been endeavoring to teach and, um, it's not really easy to teach sewing, so, but I wasn't gonna share with this with you this week. I was gonna kind of let it percolate, but I'm gonna insert a picture of two lovely young ladies whom I met, and we struck up a conversation and we decided to start a sewing club. And we're called the Sewing Jewels, and I'll explain that in a couple weeks why. But our first endeavor is um, we're gonna sew a skirt. And this is our skirt. And I'm basically the teacher right now. There is um, one that has some sewing experience and another that has basically none. And so they're both very excited to learn sewing. And like I said, sometimes I feel like I'm tripping over my words and 
I have a mental image of what I'm trying to say and then it's hard to explain it. So anyway, um, we just had a blast the other day. You know, we had our two hours of sewing, which of course bled over to about two and a half to three. And we got our patterns cut out and I will continue to give you progress on that. The next portion of the video is um, what we're gonna be making going forward. So let me show you what I'm making now. So I'm in a different filming spot because I was having trouble getting enough light over in my other spot and I felt like my recording was kind of grainy. So that's why I'm here and then right next to my sewing machine I've got a pile of things I'm showing you. So that's my setup this week. Um, if you don't mind, let me know if you think it's any better. And, and speaking of comments, thank you so much. If you're new to my station, thank you for sticking around and feel free to introduce yourself in the comments. And um, if anyone hasn't subscribed yet, feel free to do that too. I record every Friday and most Sundays and I will be publishing this Sunday. But what's on my cutting table right now is the patina blouse. I had shown you that I bought this 25% um, off recently. And I'm going to make it in another Joanne fabric that is a cotton and linen mix. And it's on their um, clearance right now, 50% off, and they call it Chevron. And yeah, it's a nice um, fabric. It's a little bit less than opaque, so I'm gonna line the front two pieces. Um, just in case, you know, just no one wants to see these rolls. <laughs> so that's what I am doing going forward. So I hope you enjoyed my Sew the Look, and I'm just going to end, like I said, with some photos, and I'll put them to some music so they're more entertaining, and I will see you soon. Thanks for stopping by.